inside us. So we will understand this topic with the help of a diagram. Let now first and I'll just say five five. But here the left one year the last one. Maybe one. They have 
inside of the that 
this chloro class or the chloro is not the part okay these are not mentioned in chloro but this chloro class for the this is the three class chloro class and chloro class okay so what is chloro class chloro class is a chemical which is part of the present chloro class and the other of the leaves the chloro class and chloro class is a transparent material which allow cool and uh water particles to move inside the structure of the leaf okay so uh, there is another the upper skin of the leaf is transparent to let light through to the glass below okay so the upper side leaf is transparent this is transparent why this is transparent yeah so uh, this can be seen in a chapter of light that light can pass through transparent thin skin which allow the light to pass through to the skin of the leaf which transparent which allow the light to pass through it is okay and it is covered by a layer of wet this is called a cumulus okay so if i give you an example of a leaf that they are like These all are insects. So their upper skin is transparent. Skin is transparent. Transparent. And under this skin, there is a wax. That is called cuticle wax. Cuticle wax. Under the upper skin of the leaf, there is another layer which is called a cuticle wax, and it makes the leaf waterproof. What is the function of cuticle wax? It makes the leaf waterproof. Makes the leaf waterproof. So this word is new for you. What is the meaning of waterproof? It means extra water cannot stay over the surface of leaf. Okay. So upper skin of a leaf is transparent, which allow gases to in and out in the body of a plant easily. And under the upper skin, there is a cuticle wax. There is another layer which is called cuticle wax. Its function is that to make the leaf waterproof. Okay. And then there is a thin layer of cells, is where photosynthesis happens. These cells have lots of chloroplasts. Okay, so this was the introduction of internal structure of a leaf. I hope you understand it. Now see the into the what the adapta plant has leaves up to twenty five meter long and three meter wide. This is the other interesting information. Now we will discuss page number twenty. Transporting food. Transporting food. Now I hope you understand it at which part uh, to point to the plant. So we have discussed these papers of the plant. Okay, and this is okay. So now we transport how to transport the body of a plant.
अलकुम टीचर Thank <laughs> you. 